Hey guys, Token Vaping with Pacific Vapes, and today's flavor review is by. Bill and Vapors. Now, this is actually kind of a cool one for me to do. I uh, went to a recent anniversary meet for a store, um, Sky Vapes, um, and Bill and Vapors was the main company that was sponsoring it. So I got a chance to meet the president of the company, uh, Mr. Chris Tucker, and he was gracious enough to um, spot me a couple of bottles of their juice line to go ahead and try. Um, they have a really cool logo, as you saw in the bandana. Um, they have their name on the one side, and then they have their outlaw logo on the other. This is really cool. Um, they also, their hats are actually pretty slick looking as well. It's, it's uh, like a gray uh, corduroy look with uh, uh, the villain vapors in, a, in an old style um, old style block lettering on the hat. They're, they're pretty slick. Um, but great guy. Um, very, very gracious. Very humble. Very down to earth. Um, great to talk to. Has has no problem, you know, taking time to to talk to the vape community and um, other other people that you know just say, hey, you know, just hi, how are you, you know, uh, why did you start vaping and things like that. Um, absolutely, just a, an amazing uh, gentleman to speak with. Um, so, again, Mr. Tucker, thank you very much for the opportunity. It was it was an, an amazing opportunity to meet you, um, and I do thank you for all of that. Uh, Villain Vapors is actually based in Southern California. Um, their their juice is actually made on site as well. Um, it is locally sourced. All the ingredients are uh, um, USA made as well. Um, they definitely have taken their time um, to put in the effort to do this. They are no stranger to this. Uh, it is not something that they just woke up one day and just decided to give it a shot. Um, they've been in the business for quite a while. They've been involved in other companies as well. Um, but then uh, he and a, a few of his uh, friends um, got together and came up with this company and made their own juice line. And, uh, you know, it's they have a solid line. Now, for Villain Vapors, they, they offer, there's two lines. Uh, Villain Vapors is one, and their newest line is called uh, Saloon Select. Um, I didn't have an opportunity to try that line yet. I believe there's three flavors in that line. They are an 80-20 uh, VG ratio, um, so they're a little more meant for uh, drippers and clouds. Um, this line is uh, a 70-30 mix, um, so it's it's not as it's not as dense on the clouds, but it definitely gives you a very nice cloud production. Uh, flavor is a bit is a bit uh, stronger as well. Um, the cool thing about uh, Villain Vapors is that they are available in over 500 stores. So, I mean, regardless of where you are um, in in the country, um, there there's going to be something by you that carries uh, something from them. Um, it may not be an immediate shop or right down the street, but I'm sure there's probably one within a few miles of you that does carry this line. If not, um, you can go ahead and contact them. They can basically direct you to... Uh, the the closest shop in your area, if, uh, whichever one that that might be. Um, their website is shop.villainvapors.com, and you can basically order both lines. They also offer uh, a wick and coil um, equipment as well. So I mean, they try to be as well rounded as possible. Um, great site, really easy to navigate. Um, everything's pretty much self-explanatory. They do offer three bottle sizes. You know, the standard 15, the 30, and the 120. On their website, the 15 mil goes for 12.99, the 30 mil goes for 21.99, and the 120 mil goes for 70.99. So, really, it, they're not expensive. They're not overly priced. You know, they're not taking trying to take a huge chunk out of your wallet. Um, you know, but they are in the business uh, as well. So, they also offer uh, four nick levels, from what I saw: a zero, a three, a six, and a 12. Um, so you, there's definitely a variety there. You know, it, there's not, it's not hard to be able to figure out, you know, what's going to work for you, what's not. Now, the quality of their their packaging is also another thing as well. Um, as most 
standards, they do use the glass bottles, and they are, they are high-grade glass bottle. Uh, they do use the plastic safety seal, which is pretty much standard on all companies coming out of California, and I believe that most companies across the country are basically going to be turning to this and ensuring that this is on all of their bottles. Standard Eye Dropper does have the safety cap on this. There is their logo, still a cool logo, uh, flavor, there's their nick level, they're made in the USA and their ingredients, and then their warning labels as well. So, I mean, they basically, they do take a point to uh, make sure that this is packaged properly, and it is packaged well, but they also make sure that the quality of it is there as well, too. So, not only are you getting a really high shelf quality juice line, but it's also they're also putting as just as much effort into the packaging of it to make sure that it is as safety um, involved as, as it needs to be. So that's always a definite bonus as well. Um, now the three flavors that that I was offered are uh, Capone, Pair of Deuces, and Tombstone. And they're all basically kind of uh, gangster, cowboy, outlaw um, uh, centered, which I think is really cool. It's a little different, you know, that it's a theme that not not anybody else that I've seen so far or anybody really has a, a focus on. Um, the Capone is uh, a sweet and savory tobacco for people that still like the tobacco flavor or are looking for something in that that, that hearty um, tobacco line um, because it's not a flavor really that a whole lot of people touch upon. Um, most people when they vape, uh, at least when I did, I tried to stay away from the tobacco flavor just because I was trying to basically completely um, cut out cigarettes, so that was one that I would definitely, that was a flavor profile that I definitely tried not to um, delve into a whole lot. They do also cover uh, a menthol aspect for people that like those with the Tombstone. Um, it's basically a fruity menthol, and it definitely has the menthol kick. Um, when I tried it, the first hit on that and inhale was a straight, overwhelming menthol kick. Um, the exhale of it does have a fruity uh, taste to it. It took me a, f a couple of vapes, and I did get it. Um, some people might pick it up a little bit stronger than I did, uh, but it is it is definitely there. So you do get a fruity vape off of that, but it definitely is uh, with a strong um, uh, menthol overtone to that. So for people that like the menthol style, it's definitely a good choice. Um, the pair of deuces out of the three was the one that I liked the most. Um, it was the honeydew melon and pear. Now, it's not the first one that I've tried in that flavor profile. Um, however, it is uh, one of the more stable flavors um, that I've tried uh, for that flavor. It, it's not too heavy on either, either or. Um, it's pretty much, it does still have the crisp bite to it. Uh, some of the other ones that I have tried with that have that flavor combination, the pear usually was a bit um, overwhelming. Uh, in this particular aspect, they were able to hit the right combination of both, so it was an equal uh, measure of both. So it does make it a smoother vape, um, but you definitely have to like both flavors to be able to enjoy it because you definitely do taste it. Um, the other two flavors in this line is Bonnie and Clyde and Dillinger. Um, Bonnie and Clyde, I believe, is a caramel vanilla uh, flavor, which, you know, is definitely um, uh, a definite choice that uh, is one that I would go for. And the Dillinger is a berry, I believe, um, a berry style. It's, like I said, you know, it's, it, they definitely are, um, well, actually, you know what? Bear with me here one second, and I will find out. Um, if you do tend to uh, partake into Villain Vapors, they are all over the media. Um, you definitely need to check them out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, they're in uh, Google Plus, I believe, as well. Facebook. Um, you definitely you definitely can reach out to them and contact them. They love uh, getting positive feedback or constructive criticism, just letting, uh, letting uh, your opinion be known. They're definitely not above that. Um, they, they are in touch with the community, and that's one thing that is very, very cool with them. They like to uh, contact the community. They like to know what they think. They like to know, you know, what they can do better or how they can better um, accommodate them. Um, okay, I apologize. Bonnie and Clyde is a multiple berry blend. 
Dillinger is the, the custard and uh, or the vanilla cream um, flavor. I kind of got them confused. So for that, I do apologize. Um, Dillinger is a creamy caramel and vanilla custard, and Bonnie and Clyde is a multiple berry. The Bonnie and Clyde I did get to try um, a vape at the at the meat itself, um, and I did kind of like that. I did not have a chance to try the Dillinger though. Um, from the sounds of it, it actually sounds like it'd be really good. As I've started leaning more towards custard or creamy flavors. Um, as I said, this is a 70-30 uh, ratio mix. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, they all are. Uh, the, as I stated, all of the uh, ingredients are locally sourced um, in the United States, and so they basically try to keep everything local and um, natural. So it's definitely, a, definitely a bonus uh, to that. So as I said, I'm going to go ahead and vape the pair of deuces real quick, so I can show you the the vape. Button. And like I said, I mean, uh, Mr. Tucker was, I mean, he was very gracious. You know, he was there and he, he was representing his company, um, you know, and had to partake in that. But, you know, anytime, from what I noticed, anytime anybody stopped him to just say, hey, you know, I just wanted to thank you for this or, you know, and ask him just, you know, questions about his vaping experience, uh, what he liked about it, why he did it. Never hesitated to, to answer questions, never had a problem talking to people and uh, taking pictures with them and everything else. So that was really cool to, to see is uh, having somebody be able to touch back um, with the community and actually show that, you know what, this is fine. I have no problem doing this. Um, so again, on 56, the pair of deuces for my villain vapors. Definite clouds. Very nice production. Again, the inhale on that is definitely honeydew. Um, I, I'm a fan of the honeydew flavor, so it definitely, you know, it definitely hits. And the pear, it's basically right after the inhale, the pear, the pear taste starts to kick in, and then just kind of helps smooth into the rest of the vape. But again, they're both there. You taste them both, but neither one is overwhelming, and it still does have that crisp bite to it. So that it is a very, again. I hate to sound redundant about it, but it is a very crisp, refreshing vape. So it's almost kind of something that you could vape um, pretty much most of the day. Uh, but you could also use it to kind of cleanse your palate. You know, with some some flavors that you get, if they're however heavy they are, or sweet or something like that, you know, it, it feels like it kind of weighs on your tongue or coats your mouth, stuff like that. So stuff that you vape afterwards still has that taste to it. Um, this has almost a cleansing taste to this. So it's it would be a good um it would be a good vape almost kind of if you just vaped on something that was like heavy sweet or heavy sugary um and you were just not wanting something in the same soup but you wanted to be able to vape something that just had a light taste to that um this would definitely be a good choice With this, I get a slight little throat kick, but no, nothing, nothing unmanageable or to the point to where I'm going to hack or cough a lot. Um, but you definitely do get a bit of a, a little bit of a throat kick to that. So I bump this up to 65. Now for me, that's a bit strong. Um, but again, I don't vape very high as it is. Uh, obviously, the flavor enhancement is definitely there, and it is it is amplified as is the smoke production, as you can tell. Very solid cloud, very dense cloud. It's really cool. Um, throat kick picks up a little bit as well, so you get a bit more. Now, again, I'm not a, I'm not a heavy vapor. I don't vape very high. Um, there are devices that can jack up a lot higher that I, I will try out and go to that point just to see what it feels like. Um, however, this is a this is a line that I probably would not vape super high. I just my preference choice. However, for my level that I vape, it's definitely a very solid line. Like I said, um, I didn't have a chance to try the Dillinger yet. I'm hoping maybe in the future I can probably pick up a bottle of that to try. Bonnie and Clyde had a very nice uh, 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 berry mix to that. Um, I haven't been able to come across the, Sal the Saloon Select line yet in a, in a couple of shops around me, so um, maybe with Pacific Vapes, um, I will reach out to the Vapers and see what we can do about that. Uh, but 
again, they're in over 500 stores across the United States. So, I mean, if you have a chance to try them, if your shop carries them, definitely give them a shot. Um, they are, you know, they do have a small flavor base, but their flavors are, are well done. Their flavors are definitely um, time invested, love invest, invested, um, and quality invested. So, I mean, they, they've definitely done the homework. Like I said, they're not new to this. They've been doing this for a while. Um, so they know they know the game. They know what they need to do. They know what's expected. They know how to get the, to that point. Uh, but absolutely, if you have the chance to try this line, definitely give it a shot. One of these flavors, I'm sure, will definitely hit a point for you that you can say, hey, you know what? I can definitely vape on that. Again, guys, I'm grateful no matter how many times I do this, no matter how many of these that I get the pleasure and honor and uh, privilege to do, I, I'm so very grateful for any and all of them, no matter no matter who it's from, no matter what flavor it is, no matter what line it is. Um, I'm always willing to do it. I'm always willing to try. I'm trying to reach out to some companies about uh, trying to do some dev uh, device reviews. Um, I understand I'm not as big as some others, so that there's still that, that, uh, that newness to it to where, you know, maybe when he gets a little bit bigger, we can, we can invest in that. Um, but, you know, I definitely understand. But even if it's just flavors that I do for a while, I'm, I'm definitely grateful for any opportunity and chance, anything that I can do, whether it's through uh, my channel on here, myself on Instagram, um, Facebook, what whatnot, or through my shop at Pacific Vapes um, that I'm employed with, anything that I can do to help promote uh, the vaping community in a positive sense, I definitely want to do, will do, uh, will look into how to better do, anything that I can contribute to help anybody else. Um, Absolutely, I, I will thoroughly uh, go the distance and see and and do what I can to help out. Um, I just I fully believe in the community. I fully support the vaping community, and it's just it's just something that I, I strongly am am attached to. Uh, like I said, Villain Vapors, check them out at shop shop.villainvapors.com. As I stated before, they're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Google Plus. I mean, there are multiple ways to to hit them up, definitely reach out to them if your shop doesn't carry them and have them look into getting at least some samples to try out. Uh, I'm sure they'll probably like them enough to say, hey, you know what, it definitely is worth uh, trying out in our shop as well. Um, but again, guys, I thank you very much. Mr. Tucker, I thank you for the opportunity. It's great. Again, Token Vaping, employed with Pacific Vapes. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Pinterest, you know, definitely hit me up, hit me a follow. Any questions, comments, concerns, definitely address them. I will, I will answer them as best I can. Um, unfortunately, right now I'm having issues with my Instagram page for some reason. I they keep blocking me for basically no reason. None of my posts violated any anything of their outlines. Um, so I'm still working on that. So if I haven't responded back or something like that. It's not It's not a personal thing. It's not because I don't want to. I'm just trying to get that all cleared up. With that said, Bill and Vapors, thank you very much. I hope to try your Soul and Select line here soon as well. Um, token Vaping, Vaping Community, Vape on Vape Strong. Have a good night, guys. Thanks.